welcome back guys so today I'm going to show you how to create these summer neon nails out of hard gel I'm using jelly pro and eye gel from ink London these beautiful neon glitters from the glitter fairy and then I will be using some gel polishes as well um, I'm using Madame Glam's so hot inks i7 and ink London's i35 So the first nail I'm going to do is a simple glitter fade using the neon multi-cut glitters in raspberry and strawberry. I'm using my Lord's 006 brush from Ink London. I'm going to do a thin layer of the Violet Clear Jelly Pro first. If I was doing this on a client I would have done a layer beforehand and set it and then go in with your glitter layer. It just means that when your client comes back for um, the next maintenance appointment you're not filing right back down onto the natural nail. So I'm then going to take my mermaid pigment brush that's also from the Glitter Fairy and I'm just going to lightly tap these colours onto the nail. So I'm going to take this one halfway down and then wipe my brush and then swap over to the different colour. Once that's done I'm just going to slightly press around the edges just to make sure that's all nice and smooth and then that goes into the lamp to cure for one minute LED and two minutes UV. I'm then going to take a big bead of clear and just cover the whole of that nail working in circular motions going side to side down the nail. This is the layer that you would build your apex in if you were doing it on a client. So just make sure it's all nice and smooth and even, there's no dips or anything and then that will go back in the lamp to cure. So while that's set in, I'm then moving on to the second nail. This one is pretty much the same as the last one, so I'm just doing a glitter fade again, but slightly on the diagonal, and I'm using three different colours this time. So I'm using grape, strawberry, and raspberry. So I'm going to start at the top with the grape, and then just fade the colours into one another. going over those colours until you've got them blended how you want them and then again I'm just going around the edges just to make sure that glitter's led flat 
and then back in the lamp to cure. Then going back in with a big bead of clear, same as the last one, just working down the nail, covering all that glitter. Make sure you're turning the nail so you can see that you've covered everything. It's a bit difficult with the clear gel because it's so clear. You can't always see that you've covered everything, so just keep moving the nail around. back in the lamp to cure for one minute LED and two minutes UV. So with this one I just took the pink glitter halfway down the nail and then just feathered it out towards the end so it was still clear on the tip um, and again with this one flattened down the sides and then pop that in your lamp to cure. Once that's cured, I'm then going to go in with a layer of eye gel rather than Jelly Pro. Um, this is because I'm going to add some flowers using gel polish and I want it to spread out slightly. Um, and as the Jelly Pro and eye gel are very different consistency wise, you just don't get the same movement with the Jelly Pro. Um, but the Jelly Pro is a lot easier if you're trying to encapsulate glitters. So I'm just going to do a fine layer of the eye gel all over. I'm then going to take a dotting tool with the different coloured gel polishes on and just dot the flowers into that wet layer. I've just added a bit of extra gel polish to some of those dots just to make them a little bit more intense um, and once I'm happy with those that then goes back in the lamp to cure. I'm going to take some clear top coat and just mix some of this candy apple glitter into it and then I'm going to put that as the centre of the flowers and that will go back in the lamp to cure. that design in the clear and then back in the lamp to cure.
We're going to do a reverse French on this one with glitter tip using signature pink. So I place my bead where I want my smile line to start and you want to keep most of the product in that area so there's a wall for your glitter to go up against. I work the gel back in circular motions, tapering it down towards the cuticle and then I'm going to just dampen my brush with gel cleanse and tidy up the smile line and then that will go back into the lamp to cure for one minute LED and two minutes UV. So I'm then going to just take off the tacky layer and just give that a little file over. You don't necessarily need to do this, it's just that that was a bit bumpy so I thought I'd just file that off. And then I'm just going to go around the smile line just to make it nice and crisp. So rather than sticking this glitter into the tacky layer, I've actually just picked up a bead of clear um, and then dipped that straight into the glitter. I'm then just going to work that around the smile line, getting right up into those corners. And then I'm going to take this kind of halfway down the nail and then swap over to the strawberry glitter and then just pop that onto the ends and then that will go back into the lamp to cure. As with the others I'm just going to go in and cap the whole of that nail in clear making sure all that glitter is covered and then I'm going to go over the signature pink as well just to smooth that all out and then that will go back in the lamp to cure I'm then going to remove the tacky layer and then just file over the whole of that nail. If I was doing this on a client I would generally do the side walls first, free edge and then go gently around the cuticle and then over the top of the nail, just refining it all out, checking it from all angles and making sure it's all nice and even and you've got your apex where you want it.
gone on and filed all the other nails um, and then I'm just going to do a few finishing touches. So on the French one I'm just going to put a few dots around the smile line in that nice bright orange and then that will go back in the lamp to cure. On this final nail I just did a clear layer of gel. Um, and then I'm just going in with that gel polish again. I'm going to do two coats of this and then I'll be adding some crystals. So I just do two nice thin coats and they go into the lamp in between, curing for one minute LED and two minutes UV. using these beautiful crystals from the Glitter Fairy. I think these are the unicorn ones. So I am just going to do a thin layer of tack free top coat and uh, use my orange stick just to pick those crystals up and stick them into the top coat. And then I will set that for one minute LED and two minutes UV. Um, I forgot to bring my glue home when I was filming this. So if I was doing it on a client, I would generally top coat, use um, whichever nail glue that you prefer stick them on properly and then do another top coat and just butter up to the crystals but not over the top. So sorry about that but you get the idea. So once I've got them on where I want them that will go back in the lamp to cure. top coat the rest of those nails again with the CJP tack free top coat. Here's the completed design, thank you so much for watching, see you again soon.